Hello everybody, today I'm at Spirit Ford taking a look at this all new 2023 Ford Escape active all-wheel drive. I believe it's got a 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine and an eight-speed automatic transmission. And the exterior color is the very unique Cinnabar Metallic. Starting off up front, we have the fully redesigned LED front headlights. On some trims, you can actually get this with an LED bar that goes all the way across. It's very, very cool. Front facing parking sensors integrated into the bottom portion of the bumper. Massive Ford logo, beautiful design grill up front. Fog lights would go right here if so equipped. You have plastic fender flares that transition into plastic rocker panels, which is greatly appreciated in climates where they use a bunch of salt or if you live on a dirt road, you're gonna protect those rocker panels. It's gonna look nice. Coming to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have some Continental Pro Contact tires and they are a 225-65 R17. Black plastic mirror cap. This guy does have blind spot monitoring. You also have this Cinnabar paint matched uh, door handle. Passive entry, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle from the driver side or passenger side door. Coming around to the back, we have the updated tail lights, which are fully LED, look absolutely amazing. Your all wheel drive badge is gonna be on the passenger side and your active badge is gonna be on the driver's side. We do have dual exhaust, which looks pretty sweet. Backup camera is gonna be right here. Minimalist style third brake light above the rear glass. Right here we have your capless fuel fill port. You also have the option to get the um, keyless entry if you so choose. One of my favorite features on the Ford vehicles. Overall, I think they did an absolutely amazing job with this refresh. And if you're on the fence about getting one, I would make your decision somewhat quickly because rumor has it that Ford is actually getting rid of both the Escape lineup and the Edge lineup. This is gonna be Ford's last refresh of the Escape before it is gone for good. There's a couple more years on this one. If you're looking at getting the Edge, the Edge only has one more vehicle model year and then it's gone. Let's take a closer look at the interior. Starting off on the driver's side door, we have all the window controls for the vehicle as well as your mirror controls, your lock and unlock buttons. Right over here, we have the button to release the trunk, rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, as well as the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. I love that Ford has gone minimalist with the interior of this vehicle. No storage trays or anything. It's all just nice and seamless design. Coming down to the instrument cluster, it is fully digital, massive LCD screen in the middle, and you have these digital um, gauges on the side for your engine temperature and your fuel level. Coming back to the steering wheel, very nice soft leather wrapped steering wheel with very mild bolsters at 10 and two, as you'd expect. Cruise control buttons, as well as your lane keep assist button is gonna be right here. Under that, you have steering wheel mounted audio controls. Over on the right side, you have more steering wheel mounted audio controls. And then above that, you have the control buttons for the center LCD display. Push button start is gonna be right here up out of the way. Nice minimalist style LCD touchscreen display. I want to say this has a uh, Bluetooth capability. It looks like it does. And you also have uh, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I believe that is wireless. Below that, you have physical buttons for the radio themselves, as well as your screen off button. Air conditioning vents. I love how they're placed. I think Ford's air conditioning is best in the business. Hazard light button in the middle. Under that, you have all the buttons for your dual zone climate control, as well as your heated captain's chairs, as well as your heated steering wheel button. Right here, you have two massive uh, storage mats for plus size smartphones. And then back in there, it looks like you have a USB-C and USB outlet, as well as a 12 volt outlet. Two cup holders right here, rotary dial shifter, electronic parking brake, hold button. This is your drive mode button when you push it it should toggle up on the touchscreen display, which you can then access by pushing the uh, touchscreen display where you would like. To the right of that, we have your automatic start stop off. It is on by default. And then below that, we have a credit card or toll booth or parking garage card slot right here. Coming back to the center armrest, lift up on it, giving us access to a pretty decent size storage compartment for this size of vehicle really unique cloth seats in this vehicle. I think every single trim has a little bit different of a seat design. 
The ST line has a little bit more red stitching with leather and cloth mix with kind of a um, perforated look. This looks like it has a triangle design and it actually looks and feels pretty nice. Right over here, we have a massive glove box for this size of vehicle. Coming up top to the vanity, it is incandescent lit for your passenger as well as the driver. Up top on the headliner, you got glasses storage and then the master controls for the dome map lighting and then a non-dimming rear view mirror. So overall, um, kind of similar to the previous generation uh, Escape. Some nice updates, especially with the digital instrument cluster. But like I said, um, this is probably the best Escape they've ever made. It looks absolutely amazing. Everything is laid out in a, a perfect way. Um, I'm just very comfortable in this car. Let's take a closer look at the back and see how much legroom we have. Before I get in, I do want to point out these seats not only move forward and backwards, but they also recline too. So as you can see, this seat is slightly reclined more so than that one. And I'm six feet tall on a good day, 5'11", the rest of the days of the week. And I have a decent amount of legroom. This seat is pushed back a little farther than it would be if I was driving. And I know in the position I drive in, you have about two feet from the front of this seat to the back of this seat. Um, no storage behind the driver's seat, but the passenger seat, you got little storage pouch right there. You got air conditioning vents, and you also have two USB Type-C outlets. This center seat does have a fold-down armrest slash cup holder. And even with the seat in the more upright position, because there is no twin pane sunroof, I have an amazing amount of headroom. Um, taller people will, will be pretty comfortable in the back of this vehicle. Your LED dome map light and hanger hooks are integrated into the outermost portion of the headliner. And uh, yeah, I think even fully reclined, I have even more headroom. And if you notice the body lines of this vehicle from the exterior, um, it does kind of swoop back towards the tail end of the vehicle, which would minimize headspace. So Ford did a really good job maximizing that for the rear passengers. Let's take a look at the trunk and see how much cargo space we have. So there's going to be a couple ways to open the trunk of this vehicle. The first way is with the key fob. Second way is with the button to the left of the steering wheel. And the third way is to come up underneath the C and escape. There's a little button here. You push it, it'll automatically open for you. We have a donut spare with some storage around it underneath this little um, piece right here. Storage cubby right there, as well as right over here. On the driver's side, we have a grocery bag hook right there, as well as a 12 volt outlet right here. Like I said, these seats do um, go forward a little bit, maximizing cargo space. I think uh, Ford did a really, really good job with that. When you're done, you can come up to the passenger side, grab the handle or push the button. It'll beep at you very softly a couple times and then it will automatically close. Let's take a quick look at the window sticker. So here's the window sticker. I understand there is some tint on the glass, so I'll go over the key features. Again, this is a 2023 Ford Escape all-wheel drive active with a 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine and an eight-speed automatic transmission. Exterior color is Cinnabar Red Metallic uh, PC. Standard equipment's gonna be right here for a base price of $31,515. Optional equipment is gonna be right here. This doesn't have a lot of optional equipment except the Cinnabar uh, red metallic color after destination fees and everything you're at 33,505 mpg is right up here this vehicle is rated at 26 miles per gallon city 32 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 28 miles per gallon i want to thank spirit ford for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle like i said if you're interested in this vehicle um, i would definitely uh Make that decision somewhat soon because these are going to be gobbled up pretty quickly. Um, when Ford got rid of the, the uh, Fusion for some reason, everybody wanted them and now everybody wants them on the secondary market. They are worth their weight in gold. Uh, this is the best escape Ford has ever made both inside and out. I think they did an amazing, amazing job and I hope to be able to get one before they are not made anymore. If you want one or want any of the uh, Ford lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Let Cheryl know you saw the video and she'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. 
If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date with more vehicle walkthroughs, definitely subscribe to the channel and please be sure to check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.